let me let me say Go something ahead, real quick. Honestly, if you look at the initiation card, it's is a low key of East versus West card, with the exception of like Briz. Um, I guess he's from North Carolina or whatever, but Delaware. But I still uh, over there on the Black East. Delaware. And 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 then with Pass sure. and, and YK, of course YK is from the Midwest. But if you look at it, B Dot versus Mike P. You know what I'm saying? That's a classic East versus West battle. New Jersey Twerk versus me. That's an East versus West battle. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what else on the card? What else on the card? Let me see. Oh, it's another one. It's another one too. I, I can't say it right now, but that's that's gonna be an East versus West battle. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I know, I know, so I know you If you look about. at yeah. half of the, if you look at one side of the card, it's all West Coast niggas versus all all the other MCs from the other side of the country. You know what I'm saying? So this is low. This is a low key East versus West card, and it, it ain't billed as that, but you know. Hey, yo, you, got some man. This, you got some people saying this card is better than the um than a known card. I, I seen that. I seen that. I seen that, man. And I I agree. I agree. You know, you got uh uh Saga Saga from New York coming to battle. You know, Emerson Kenny. That's another East versus West battle right there. I I think this, the initiation shit probably got a little more fire battles on it than than known. Honestly. Honestly, I'm going to tell you why. Because nobody was excited okay. for Tay Rock and Goods. Nobody was excited for Briz versus uh, Charlie Clips. See what I'm saying? And niggas ain't really jumping out they seat for G- JC and DNA. You understand what I'm saying? Like, the only two is, like, Twerk and, twerk and Shug and, and Nitty and Surf. Like, so when you look at initiation, though, Briz and, Briz and, and Rum Nitty is fire. Me and Twerk, y'all already know y'all finna get a classic with me and Twerk. You know, with all the, the barking, the aggression, the, the the crazy out of this concept, you know, out of the world bars that me and Twerk going to be saying to each other, strapped in, parallel universe shit, like, that's exciting by itself. You know what I mean? The uh, beat out Mike P, that, that's been, like you just said, that's been in the works for a few years. That's going to be crazy. Mm-hmm. Fucking, um... Mm-hmm. Uh, Saga and Emerson Kennedy was supposed to battle on the, the on the traffic, I believe it was, and it didn't happen for whatever reason, or he missed a flight or something. But, you know, I want to see that. We know EK get busy. Emerson Kennedy gets busy. Saga, he's trying to get back busy, and he got something to prove. That's going to be fire. Um, what else on the card? I don't got the card in front of me right now, but I think initiation, like, got more potential battles that, you know, can be fire than than the actual norm car. And I'm not saying that because I'm on the initiation car. I'm just saying what it is. And that's why fans are saying that. That's why niggas is low-key like, you know what? Initiation might be better than fucking norm. You know, but that's just on Go paper. Ahead. We see how, we'll see how they turn out. Because, you know, norm can turn out to be a crazy event. Ill will and T-Top. If all them, if all of those battlers do what they supposed to do, then that that gnome shit gonna be a crazy event. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely gonna make up for the last two URL events that really wasn't great. You know, uh, Born Legacy Supreme Two, uh, Survivor Series and BMV. That those two cars wasn't. They wasn't. You feel me, niggas? Ain't you feel me? Yeah, them cars so, is not all that be. So so gnome gnome got a chance. And if Gnome don't do it, then it, I guarantee you initiation going to make up for all that shit. How you feel about the RBE card so far? Well, see, ARP not really announcing them either. He's saying... <laughs> hey, yeah, he's but, do I, but I do know ARP got some shit up his sleeve, man. That's what I do know. ARP got something up yeah. his fucking sleeve. And I'm, I'm, I'm damn near, like, scared. Of, I, I seen the tweet when he says, even... On the day of the event, there's going to be a shock. Meaning, even if, even when they announce all the announcements, he still ain't mm-hmm. finished with the, the, the secret announcement. There's going to be another shocking announcement on the day of the fucking event. Like, I don't even know what that could be. I'm just like, I don't know what this nigga came up on. I don't know what bank he, he robbed or how many... Pennies he saved up in his piggy bank. This car is crazy. It's got a lot of excitement around it. Man, 
question. Shit. Question. <laughs> Does this RBE card put pressure on King of the Dot to come through with a real good card next event? It put pressure on everybody. Not just King of the Dot. Like, URL Summer Madness got to Summer Madness got to show something. You feel me? Like, niggas ain't too excited. Like, niggas not really crazy for the known part. You feel me? Like, niggas okay. not crazy about it. They, they, you know, it's a good car. It is exciting to go down to Houston. I'm glad they, I'm glad they're traveling. So, shout out to the URL for doing that. You know what I mean? But, uh, I, I don't know, man. I don't, the, the gnome car don't have more excitement around it than Mook. You know what I'm saying? When you got Mook coming back, that's kind of like, how do you trump that? How do you trump yeah, it's, Mook it's, return? It's top that one, right? Yeah, you so, can't top that, really. King of the Dot, King of the Dot, you know what? I would like to see URL say, fuck it, we got Lloyd Banks versus Cassidy. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we going to do that on our platform. Like, I don't know if niggas will be excited or they won't be, but throw that on Summer Madness. Not as the main event, but just throw that on there. Shit, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? But they got to do something. Everybody. Like, ARP got niggas scrambling. But, you know, these niggas not going down without no fight. I'll say that. I know King of the Dots, they not finna go down quietly. They not going down quietly. You know what I mean? So, I, you know, it, at the end of the day, all this competition just makes it better for the fans and for the culture in, in as a general, you know, in general. It just makes it That's better. Exactly. Because now when the leagues are in competition with one another trying to I, – I, I don't know. I know they don't directly – they might not be. Well, well, you, no, never mind. Because URL does say they are in competition. They because they say if it don't, it don't happen here, it don't count. So that's kind of like a direct shot at all the other leagues. So when these leagues are in competition like that, it just makes for good battles. It makes for good cards. And you know, so but, we're if gonna you, see. but but if you think about it, shouldn't battle rap leagues be in competition anyway? Like I don't see what the big deal is about it. Like you said, should you should want to be, be in competition. I mean, I would think that you would uh, want to be the number one league. Yeah, because at the end of the day, it's a business. It's a business. You want to, I mean, you know what I'm saying? McDonald's want to sell more burgers than Burger King. Burger King want to sell yeah. more than Wendy's. You know, so they want to make the the money. You know what I'm saying? The league are making money. Let's not get it confused. This is a business. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we do it for the coach, for the love and all these intangible things. The only thing tangible is money. So. Yes, mm-hmm. they want to be, you know, these leagues want that, that number one spot. So when they throw, when they announce a card, everybody's coming. Like, everybody, the tickets are already selling out. Motherfuckers is, is getting the VIP tickets. They buying the pay-per-views. All that shit translates into money for the league. So, of course, they want to be the number one league. Right now, RBE's putting pressure on, you know, all, all the leagues. You know what I mean? Because they but, you got King Low coming. You know what, so Danny, but, 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 but you know what, Danny? Is it fair to say they're putting pressure on all the leagues with one card? Whereas URL was having the card, like, fucking every month for the past year? No, I would Okay, well, maybe maybe pressure ain't the word. I wouldn't say it's pressure because they got to, you know, you're right. URL has been consistently doing this shit for, what, a decade or more, right? So... Yeah, they, they don't. They're really not in competition with nobody for real. They just in competition with themselves. But when I, when somebody throw a car like this that generates all the hype and all the hoopla, you kind of you gotta kind of trump that if you're the number one league. If you're in the number one league, you gotta say, oh yeah, that oh oh you did that. Okay, watch what we do next. Watch this. It has to be. Hey, you know what, Danny? Hey, yo, before when King of the Dot passed, they used to be used to be clearly. The best guy in King of the Dot. Like, who's the man over there now? Is it still Pasté? Good question. I'll tell you what. You're right. Pasté was that dude for many years, and I thought he would never. I thought he would never like not be the dude over there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, right now, I mean, how could you not say Head Ice? I, I mean, if, if he's the fucking champion, he's defended the belt. He still got the belt. It's Head Ice. Whether y'all like the nigga, you don't like him. He's your favorite rapper. He he don't got a style you like. Uh, you 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 might like Sharon. You might like uh Soul or well Soul's from Don't Fly, but uh Shoddy P and Peanut and Joe and all these other guys. 
No, but then I mean actually Canadian amino. Oh, actually Canadian? Well, fuck. Yeah, I, I, I would say Sharon. Mm-hmm. To me, I, maybe Sharon. I mean, Sharon is fucking dope. Probably, yeah. He's dope. We'll probably and he Sharon. don't and he don't lose. He don't lose. He's a smack killer. I mean, Sharon's still that dude. Fucking Sharon, man. Sharon, Sharon's in such a <laughs> weird state. Because he's so tight. Like, Sharon is the, is the Canadian version of DNA. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, facts. Facts. You see, the problem, well, I don't want to say the problem with Canada, but a, a lot of their battlers, we don't know a, a whole lot about. You know what I'm saying? A lot of their battlers, their bases are based off of America and other places, too. So I don't really feel like the Canadian battlers stick out as much. Yeah, Before yeah, King of the used to be all know, Canadian. New, new stars. I mean, they might be in a rebuilding phase. You know what I'm saying? They might. Yo, you know, when Pat, stay, if, when Pat stays like your Kobe Bryant, and then Pat Stay kind of just takes a little dip, now it's like the other the other one's got to step up. So when the, when when Kobe left, the other niggas had to step up. And, and we ain't made the fucking playoffs. You feel me? The fucking Lakers ain't made the playoffs without Kobe. So, you know... Which, when when Pat Stay is not the the Canadian anymore, who who's gonna step up? Who's it the shining Sharon, star? But Sharon has already stepped up. I, I guess it's not really working the way they would want it to be with Sharon. Aside from Sharon, though, I mean, is that is that all they have is Pat Stay and Sharon? Is that is that what we saying here? Is they got two names. The, the, whole, the whole legacy of the, the league up? What happened when they both say they retired? Who, who can you decide that? Let, let me see. Let me see one. And we're not counting. No. Oh, shit. Mad Flex is from California. Ain't this a bitch? Exactly. All right. Um, mm-hmm. Dang. Mm-hmm. That sucks. Bad Hollahan. He <laughs> fell off. Bad Kid uh-huh. Swiss. He stopped. See, this is their problem right here, man. Rest in peace to Bender. Mm-hmm. Um, Rest in peace, Bender, man. Have, who else do we have who's making a lot of noise besides Pat Stay and Sharon? Who can actually hold man. King of the Dot on their back? No, I, nobody. I don't think there's no clear. Where okay? Where is Shocks the Rebel from? And is he from the UK or something like that? He's not. I, he. I don't. I'm not sure if he's Canadian. You said who? Um, Shocks the Rebel. He's a pretty dope, uh, dope white boy. Look him up. He's dope. Um, I mean, Soul. Soul or dope. Uh, uh, Tony oh, D Fran- is from Don't Flop, right? Yeah, Tony D from Don't Flop. They got franchise. He retired anyway. Uh, yeah. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Franchise is now URL, right? He's now mm-hmm. URL. Yeah. yeah. Hey, yo, so they really have talking anybody. about King of the Dots. Right now. They don't got They really nobody. don't have it. <laughs> this is crazy. I mean, that I just to keep it real, when you really think about it, right? When you, like, you, we never really just pay attention to it like that. But now that we're actually looking and actually looking at the, the broad view of it, they don't have nobody. So that's why I just said it. they are in a rebuilding phase. Bring up some new stars. I, maybe I you haven't what, been paying attention what? close enough. You know what, Danny? So if you're organic, do you start focusing on Canadian battlers or do you keep it going as again everybody? Like as far as like getting Arcane, like URL battlers back? It. Yeah, Arcane had it, but he blew it. Yeah, he fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> he fucked up. Fucked up. Um... Wow. I would get some new Canadian guys. I would get some new Canadian guys, but you 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 got to you going to have to get some 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 urban guys. And by when I say urban, I mean black guys. So, it is what it is. You're going to have to get some of those because now if you just got all Canadians and just white boys, white boys, I don't know the the you know if they can still have the same cultural impact as just white boys. From Canada, 
Oh. You gotta like when they me and Dot was throwing them dope ass cars. It was like me and Mitty and Daylight and Chilla, Head Ice and Charlie Clips. You feel me? Like we was on them cars. We was on them cars. So now if you don't have any of them, you just got Head Ice and he the champion, and you just got him, then it's kind of like, who do you got? I mean, I know they got Peanut. Peanut's dope. You know, but you know, don't really get you know, Shoddy P. He's still coming up, but I think Shug Shug beat him. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm I trying to think. Uh, Psychosis. We got Pad. You should got Pad. Psychosis. Ill Mac. Um, Iron Solomon still go over there from time to time. Um, Disaster might might go back <laughs> over there. Who knows? This division huh? in battle rap is up. This division in battle rap. Between John Ross is ugly. Yeah. You got DNA. He Big Cannon can go yeah. back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Math Hopkins can go back and forth in all reality. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I would like to see them bring... I would like to see them bring Surf over there. I want to see them bring Briz over there. Uh, Hitman already battled over there. He can go back. Um, I could go back. You know what I'm saying? It just got to be the right matchup. Me and Head Ice probably happen over there, you know what I'm saying? So that that's for sure. But uh, yeah, as you, far as you like, head ice over there. yeah, yeah, I would battle Head Ice over there. I, I think that's where we gonna do it at, as a matter of fact. So, but um, I don't know, man. They just in the rebuilding phase. It looks like to me, but I, I'm not gonna count them out. I mean that that the uh, nah. the the blackout four was uh was was. The Massacre 4 Blackout Edition wasn't even that bad. It wasn't that bad. It had a couple decent battles on there. Some good battles. Yeah, it that turned Chilla out. That Iron was good. fucking crazy. Chill of Jones, it Iron Solomon, mean, that is fucking crazy. They had a few dope battles. They're not, they're not like, out of the out of the game. They're not, like, out of the running, but they're not. They don't have, you know, because it was always URL King Zot. URL King Zot. Neck and neck, neck and neck, and one I, I believe it was like 2015 or 2016 when niggas felt like King of the Die had a better year than URL. You feel me? So, but as of the last two years, like URL kind of just ran ran off with it. Like they kind of just ran away and separated from the pack. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. the URL is still number one. They're still number one right now as far as leap. That's without a doubt. You know what I mean, but ARP, is, you know, he kind of, he kind of, he kind of threw a monkey wrench in there. And he, he threw a, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he had, a, he had something up his sleeve, you know, and that just making things interesting. And I think that's just gonna make, you know, URL and King of the Dot try to, you know, you know, they got to answer. You got to answer to that. Like, okay, what's your, you feel me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like you got to You got now. What's y'all play now? Now that he did this, what y'all gonna do? Because if y'all don't match but, that but, and then ARP gets out of 2018 with the best card of the fucking year, wow. Wow. That, that's true. That's true. I said, show, we got to go. We got to get, get up out of here. And we appreciate you niggas listening, sure. man. Be up out of here, man. How's you niggas tomorrow, Indeed. man? Indeed. up. Early, man. One.